Hi, I'm Gemma. I have the privilege of travelling across Australia to visit our heroes, the growers that grow the produce that Australia and the world love to eat. I'm going to be preparing some recipes for you today and I can't wait to share these with you. So I'm about to show you the perfect party platter and it's also great for the kids to get them eating more veggies. But before we do that, I caught up with David from Boomeroo Nursery and Andrew from Pilton Valley Produce back where it all began on the farm. My name's David Parker and I'm the Queensland Business Manager for Boomeroo Nurseries at Southbrook near Toowoomba on the Darling Downs. This is a Queensland nursery owned by Boomeroo Nurseries and we're here supplying seedlings to the markets close to the Toowoomba Basin. We grow a full range of crops, leafy vegetables. So at the moment we're in winter crops, so we're growing things like broccoli, broccolini, cabbage, cauliflower. We have some leeks, some onion, and a lot of other lettuce varieties too as well. What I love about being in the um, industry I'm involved in with horticulture is a lot of the innovation that people have also, not only us. We're seeing that um, farmers are very innovative. They're always looking for that new and exciting thing, which, which is how we thrive. So at the moment, Gemma, I'm standing in front of um, a bench of broccoli, which is heading down the Lockyer Valley. But also this morning, we trucked out a full load of lettuce seedlings, which headed down to Andrew at Pilton Valley Produce in the Pilton Valley. Yeah, so my name's Andrew Dewar, uh, I'm from Pilton Valley Produce. We farm vegetables and other horticultural crops here in the Pilton Valley. This particular farm is about 600 acres. Um, we've been here for about 15 years. The majority of our crops here are leafy veg. So uh, on this particular farm, we do about 65 hectares of baby cos, which is the product that Gemma's using today. We grow about 160,000 plants per hectare, so roughly around about 10 to 12 million plants of baby cos lettuce. They're harvested all year round uh, and we do that every day of the week and they supply all the major retailers and all the markets throughout the eastern seaboard. Hort Innovation has been very progressive in the way that they help with on-farm problems. Hort Innovation's R&D program is second to none. They tend to be very good at helping with, our, with any issues that we have on farm. And if that doesn't make you appreciate our hard-working farmers in Australia, gosh, I don't know what will. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a delicious beetroot hummus recipe with homemade flatbread and vegetable crudités. So what I'm gonna do first is roast up this beetroot, but I'm gonna keep the skin on because that's got a lot of nutrition. Um, so I'm just gonna slice this into quarters, just like that. Place it on a baking tray and I'm also going to roast some chestnuts and they are delicious. If you've never tried one of these, I want you to go out and get some. And I'd encourage you to check out the Australian Chestnuts website for plenty of recipe ideas. Just score them on the top and what that does is when the chestnut roasts in the oven, it's going to expand and instead of exploding and having mess everywhere, it's just gonna roast up and allow that natural nut inside to come out. So I'm now going to place these in the oven, 20 to 30 minutes, around 200 degrees, and they will be roasted and ready to go. So I'm now going to make our homemade flatbread. So there's two main ingredients, flour, and I'm using wholemeal flour, so you get the benefits of the extra fiber, and believe it or not, Greek yogurt. So these two, on a ratio of one to one, we're just going to throw these into a bowl, and I'm going to add just a little touch of baking powder. So I'm just stirring this to combine it. And I love cooking as a dietitian. You know, we live and breathe food and it's such an important part of, you know, enjoying nature's produce that we grow here, right here in Australia and turning it into really delicious meals for your family to enjoy. On a lightly floured surface, just give it a very gentle knead and that'll do. So I'm gonna rest that 
for a little while while the beetroot's cooking and then we'll roll it out. Now I've just pulled the beetroot and chestnuts out of the oven and they're smelling incredible. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap the chestnuts in this tea towel just to let them cool down and then we'll peel them and get them in the blender. And in goes our roasted beetroot and our freshly roasted chestnuts. We're also going to put in some Aussie grown chickpeas. And I have to give a shout out to my cousin Matt, who is actually a chickpea farmer in Gundawindi in uh, the south of Queensland. So g'day Matt. We're also going to add some unhulled tahini. And tahini, if you've never tried it, it's actually ground down sesame seeds. And the unhulled type actually has high levels of calcium and fiber, so it's better for you. We're also going to add some cumin and the juice of one and a half fresh Aussie lemons. Got to use your muscles for this. Good exercise. Then I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil, just a couple of tablespoons. So I'll just throw in one clove of garlic and a pinch of salt and pepper. Then lid on and blending we go. So we've got our delicious beetroot hummus here. You can never have too much Australian extra virgin olive oil. Then we're going to add, just for a garnish, to show that it truly is a chickpea based hummus, a couple of chickpeas on there. And then I've got some Australian almonds roasted and crushed. I'll just sprinkle these over the top, just really rustically. And a little bit of parsley. So I've got some beautiful, crisp, fresh cos lettuce and I caught up with Andrew from Pilton Valley Produce and I learned a little bit more about this really great ingredient. So Gemma, this is one of our cos lettuces that you'd find everywhere on the east coast in all markets. We look for our varieties specifically about their eatability, how they taste, you know, their crunch, all those sorts of things, the firmness in the head. That's how we pick the lettuces that we grow here at Pilton Valley. So from, from harvest, everything is about speed. Uh, with lettuce, it's a short shelf life crop. Uh, so we, the first thing we have to do is get it cold. Uh, they get vacuum cooled, which brings it down to two degrees in about 20 minutes. Uh, they're then put in our cool rooms, and then from there they're packed and shipped that night to the consumers. And after learning about this cos lettuce, I didn't want to drown it in a whole lot of Caesar salad dressing. I want to serve it up fresh with my beautiful hummus. Some celery sticks from Catherine Valicia's farm in Victoria. Some fresh Aussie carrots from up in the Lockyer Valley. And now the final ingredient, broccoli. Now, most of us would probably grab this stalk, cut it off and throw it in the bin, right? and we would just use the florets. Now, this is actually incredibly nutritious and it's sweet and crunchy and I'm gonna turn it into a veggie stick to add to our platter. So our cos lettuce is going to make a perfect little platter, edible, for me to enjoy some hummus in. Thanks David and Andrew, this cause is the best. Let us enjoy it.